Hey guys, Tavia here. Today I'm going to show you how to decoupage on glass. And I'm going to use these dairy glasses. Glasses, I got three of them. They came from Michael's for, we're going to say a dollar some chains. After taxes, they was two dollars. Um, and then you're going to need some Waverly paint that I purchased from Walmart in the color ivory chalk paint and then you're going to need some decoupage um, glue. You can also use my Podge. Just, it does not matter because it's pretty much the same. But I had bought this for like nine ten dollars and so I'm going to use it. Then you're going to need some foam brushes. Michaels. Pretty cheap. And then you're going to need one brush. Now you're going to need a, um, a stiff brush. This is pretty stiff and this is more can't think of a word for more. I don't know, flimsy. I don't. I don't know. But do not use a brush like this. It's going to be harder. And I'm going to show you harder to use for what you got to do with it. You want a stiff brush about this size. This is actually a brand new brush. That's why it's probably like that too. So you're going to need this type of brush. Then you're going to need some napkins of your choice. I like floral design so I got a bunch of these floral design napkins so I'm going to be using these really pretty I actually had to order them forgot the site that I ordered these from this I had these napkins for a long time way before I even start doing videos I had ordered these napkins and then you're going to need some sandpaper I actually can't find my sandpaper so I'm using a piece of sandpaper from my detail sander so I'm going to use this or you can use one of these. I forgot the name of them. You can get them from like the Dollar Tree. They come in like a bunch of them in one pack. So, and you're going to need a cup of water. It doesn't matter if it's hot, cold, dirty, or clean. You just want to need a cup of water. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, I already painted a couple of my jaws. Two of my jaws. Now I'm going to paint off camera. I did that. To make it a little quicker video. Now I'm gonna do is show you how to paint this jar. Then you want to do is just does not have to be neat. And it's gonna take about two more coats to get it to where you want it. So how you want it to be so how much paint you want to be able to have on it. It's going to take about two more coats of paint. Paint. So I'm painting the um the top part of my bottle too. And don't worry about trying to cover this too much because I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with this. So you want to go ahead and finish painting your jar, and you have to do about two more coats on here. So I'm going to finish painting and I'm going to come back. Okay, so now I went ahead and I did um, two more coats instead of just doing one coat. And this is what it looks like. It's completely dry. Now I'm going to show you how to do your napkins. There's two different ways you can um, cut your design or your flowers or whatever you're doing out of your napkins. One way is using, is using uh, um, a paintbrush and a cup of water so I'm gonna show you how to do that because basically I just want the flower itself I'm not getting the leaves and the vines and all that I'm just doing the flowers on mine so I'm gonna show you how to do that with water so you just want to tap dab it in your water I like to dab my hand and you only want the water to touch which you don't want you don't want your water to touch what you want So I'm going to go around my flower <clears throat> and take out what I want. And then I'm just gonna 
slowly just tear out what I what I wet. And this is what you're going to be left with. Now I'm going to show you the way where you can just fussy cut a flower out. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to use big flowers to take, <clears throat> big scissors to take, to cut the flower. Then I'm going to show you how I'm just going to cut it with scissors. So this is the second way you can do it if you don't want to use the water. You can take some little scissors. And I'm just going to fussy cut around my flower, which is pretty much just cutting around the flower. And I'm moving the napkin more so than the scissors. I'm just going to go around And so that's the other flower compared to the one I did with water. And this is how I do mine. So water and I just cut this one out. And so these is all of the flowers that I did and I cut out. And so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put them onto your your um bottle, your glass face. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, move my camera so you can get a better view of how I'm going to put these napkins onto this. So now I'm going to show you how you're going to do your napkins. So you just need a paintbrush for this, just a regular paintbrush. And you're going to get your... Um, your glue, whether you're using the decoupage glue or the Mod Podge. And what I do, how I do mine, is I pick out the flower I want. And you got to take all of the napkins, the extra napkins off of your um, thing before you paint it. You want to get, and sometimes it be two pieces and sometimes it's one, depending on how thick your napkin is. And it should just be, I'm sorry, I'm holding up too high. And it should just be like this. So you want to make sure you take all of the napkin, the extra napkin off of your thing. And what I'm going to do is take some glue. I like to put it in my cat so it won't get ooh, a little bit too much. But take some glue and figure out the spot that I want my flower in. And I put my glue. Then I put my flower on. Not too much glue. And I just go around. And I glue my flower down. Okay, so I went ahead and I glued my flowers on. You can put as many flowers as you want. Now what I want to do I want to take my sandpaper, but it's actually um, sandpaper from my detail sander, so because I can't find my fan, my little sandpaper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sand the front. You don't have to do this. And I'm going to find certain spots where I want to just make it look like it's worn or distressed. And then I'm going to do, see how I did that? Just did them in certain spots. 
and like up here you can go crazy with it it's up to you now I'm gonna do around the top of my bottom So that's what it looks like. Now you want to take your Mod Podge and you're going to do your whole jaw. You're going to Mod Podge. Try not to go back over your flowers too much because you basically already um, put glue on them. And why I do this is because chalk paint chips a lot and you don't want it chipping no more in other spots that you don't, you know, want to be chipped. So. This is going to seal it. This is just sealing up all the glue and everything. And so. And if you're having a hard time to see where you put the glue, you can always, the light helps. If you let the light shine onto the bottom, it helps. And try not, like I said, not to go back over your flowers because sometimes your flowers tear when you go back over them with more glue. So I'll just try to stay away from your flowers. And we'll go around the top. And so that's it. Now I'm gonna let come right back after I finish painting, put my glue on here. So here are all three of the jaws that I made, and I had fun making them. And I pretty much made them kind of similar. And, you know, I had fun doing these. It was really cute. You can sit these in your kitchen. You can sit them in the middle of your table, put some little fake flowers in them. You can put them inside the little wooden crates and put flowers all in them and sit them on your shelf in your kitchen. So there's so many different things you can do with these. Um, like I said, you can use the mason jars too. But this is what I did with them. If you like this video and you like to see me do more um, decoupage videos, um, let me know. Um, hit the notification bell if you already subscribed so you can get more of my videos. If you not subscribe, um, go ahead and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Um, like, share my videos and subscribe again. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.